Two weeks ago, I left my home in Montreal to travel across every single province in Canada for the next 10 weeks. So far, I've seen Newfoundland, I've seen Nova Scotia, and now I'm on my way to province number three out of 10, New Brunswick. But with all of this traveling and adventuring, I'm in need of a little reset. So for the next two nights, I'm going to spend my first days ever in New Brunswick in a nature therapy lodge. But not only is it a nature therapy resort, we'll be staying at an indigenous lodge. Nature therapy is a broad set of techniques that uses nature to improve your physical or mental health. And a nature therapy lodge, well, it is built to help you do just that. But in order to best tell this story, I can't just start off here. I gotta tell you about the backstory. So first, let's go back to health. So for the rest of the trip, we're actually gonna be traveling across Canada via train. Right now, first trip, Halifax to Moncton. It's gonna be four hours and uh, first time on a train in what? I don't know, five, six years, so I'm pumped. If you didn't already know, the train through Canada moves much slower than a car would. So I've always wondered why people choose to travel by train. And even though this is just a short four hour ride, I'm starting to see why. This is Emma, she was sitting over there and uh, she lives along the line, so she's actually come over here so she can snap a picture of her house. I have been uh, relegated to this yeah. and Mike's made a new friend. Okay, here we go, here we go. Are they gonna be able to see it? Oh, it's so grown up. Is that it? Oh, it's so grown. <laughs> oh. This is awesome, this is so much fun. Emma took the train not for convenience, but for perspective. And I think that hearing her story and seeing her reactions to passing by her old house was everything. Well. At least it sure made staring out the window much more purposeful. And even though I'll be challenged with much longer train rides in later provinces, I'm enjoying doing nothing for a little while. All right, we're here. Welcome to Moncton, New Brunswick. This is the start of province number three. And this is not really the scene of the video. We're gonna go somewhere a lot more relaxing and a lot more focused on wellness. Let me bring you there. There she is, Big Berta, our New Brunswick getaway vehicle. After picking up Big Berta, it's time to head over to our nature therapy getaway. Okay, but first a quick stop at Shediac, which is actually the world's capital of lobster. And interestingly enough, Barrington, Nova Scotia is the Canadian capital of lobster. So I think these guys took Barrington's name and decided they were gonna one-up them. Anyways, we're not getting lobster, we're getting sushi. Wow, what a beautiful sushi restaurant. Everything is decorated in pink for the sakura, the cherry blossom. Ah, this is like a little taste of Japan in Shediac, New Brunswick. We were trying to find a healthy alternative for dinner as opposed to all the pubs and the fried seafood places around here. Stumble upon this sushi place and look at that. So gorgeous. So good. The sushi was good, but better than that, it's a refreshing change of taste from traditional Canadian pub food. Wow, what an experience. It's crazy to think. We just spoke to the waitress inside. She's a Korean woman. She's from Korea, but she married a local and moved to Shediac, New Brunswick to start a restaurant with her husband. And so this whole time we've been looking at the menu and wondering why is there Korean food on the menu? Well, there you go. It's Korean food because she's Korean and it reminds her of home. And I guess in life it's just these little interactions that you have with the waitress in a restaurant from a new town and it makes all of your trips feel a lot more wholesome. And yeah, okay, so let's continue on with this little road trip. The lodge that I'm staying at is called the Red Bank Lodge. It's located about 40 minutes outside of the city of Miramichi, but more specifically, it's located on land that has belonged to the Mi'kmaq indigenous people for over 3,000 years. You can actually feel the indigenous flair in the style of this lodge. With its rustic cedar finish and beautiful pieces of decor, it is the ideal place for Mike and I to get a full day off to rest and recover and carry on for the next part of our trip. As you can see, it's pretty dark. I don't, I don't want to show you around until it's light out, but 
I don't want to be one of those YouTubers who just transitions from night to morning. By getting back into his room, getting into bed, filming myself while I'm fast asleep, <sighs> or when you've just woken up. I definitely won't show you me brushing my teeth. And then just walk back out of the room as if it's like morning or something? No. I would never do that. I, I'm, not, I'm not that type of guy. But hey, since it seems to be light out all of a sudden, we might as well start our day. Ring, ring, ring. Hello? Michael, it's time for breakfast. How'd you get this number? <laughs> <laughs> so this video is based on improving your physical and mental wellness through traveling, right? So obviously, not only do we have to do nature therapy, but we also have to eat right. So let's see what they have to offer. Looking like a banana day. Ooh, oatmeal, pear as well. Top it off, peanut butter. Got a little Greek yogurt here. So, I mean, there's not a huge variety, but all the things that they do have are actually pretty healthy. Listen, in life, it's all about finding the way to be healthy when it doesn't seem like you can do so. So that's why I encourage you guys to get out of your comfort zone and not just travel to a hotel, but travel somewhere that is dedicated to self-betterment. Now, you may think it's just oatmeal, but it's not. It's a mindset. But since the Red Bank Lodge is located on an indigenous reserve, at the very least, I owe it to myself to learn more about the history of the Mi'kmaq people in New Brunswick. So I'm off to the Metapanagia Heritage Park, which is just a five minute walk away from the lodge. What's interesting is that the Mi'kmaq, just like, I mean, any other culture, they use the resources that they had around them. This includes plants, berries, herbs, they use them for medicine, they use them for nutrition, and it's cool to get a little bit of an insight into how cultures completely different than the ones you grew up in use the same ingredients for the same purposes. And it just kind of makes you think, we're all the same, even if we, we look different, we feel different, we're all the same at the end of the day. Just think within this one semicircle of space in the museum, how many things you can learn about a new culture. That's all it really takes, it just takes 10, 15 minutes to open your mind and enrich yourself on new things and who knows, you might be able to apply it to your life or you just might be more empathetic to the places and people around you. Okay, you see that path? That is going to be our little hike, our little afternoon activity. We're not just gonna do a normal hike, we're gonna forest bathe. Now, do you know what forest bathing means? I'm assuming it's uh, fully submerging yourself <laughs> in the forest? Kind of. It's basically going for a walk in the forest, but having a more heightened sense of what's going on around you, meaning the smells, the sounds, and all the feelings. And given everything we just discovered, we're in a very good place to do that. There's a time and a place for everything in life. Right now, I'm in the forest. I'm alone. All I can hear is the sounds of the trees, the animals and the rain. And that is such a relaxing feeling. But not only that, it helps you gain mindfulness. And I think a lot of us just prioritize too much moving in life and we don't take the time to sit back and analyze our lives. And when you go for a walk in a forest like this and you make the active and conscious effort to think about your feelings, you start to gain more of a sense of clarity over who you are and what you want and what life is really about. And that's really all you can ask for in life because at the end of the day, if you wanna be able to follow your dream and to make everything that you want happen, you've gotta know who you are and you gotta know what you want. And the only way you can do that is by practicing mindfulness. So what's actually really cool about this trip is that we're the only people staying in the lodge. So we have pretty much the whole lodge to ourselves. Like I don't even think the people working here are there. So you know what, might as well do some fun stuff like laundry. You can also like run through the halls like a little baby. And when I say we are the only ones here, I mean, like literally, look at this. There's no cars in the parking lot. That's our car, that's Big Berta. All right, there's no one here, just, just those two. That means we've gotta have some fun tonight. Okay, so what do you wanna do? You can do anything. Okay, well, do you have a suggestion? Ooh, maybe they have Twister. Twister? Where? No, no Twister. We could have a rock, paper, scissors tournament. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah, rock, paper, scissors. Oh, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah, let's go. We could learn about the birds of Eastern Canada. What else can we do? I'm bored. I have no idea. I don't like this hour. Let's go to the next one. 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138. No. Oh.
Uh, new record. Personal best, 137. Uh, we should we should try and relax now, my way. That'd be nice. Uh <laughs> I think I like this hour, so I'm gonna just hang out here for a little bit. Oh, you actually don't need to see this. You can move on to the next hour. Most of the videos you'll find on my channel are fast-paced and adventure-filled, but not this one, and that is to teach you that sometimes you gotta slow down and that there is a value to doing that. I hope that in watching this video, you come to understand the value in taking a step back and giving yourself a proper rest day. I know that it sure worked out for me because now I'm ready to take on my next Canadian adventure. Next up on Sprout, I'm spending 48 hours in rural New Brunswick. Moving from Miramichi to the Bay of Fundy, flying over the province and discovering some of the province's most spectacular hidden gems. It's an adventure that you don't want to miss, so make sure to smash that subscribe button to be the first to know when it comes out. Thanks for watching, I'm Will, and as always, it's a mindset.